can human body itself generate enough potential difference to power an LED? Let's have a practical look. This is the digital storage oscilloscope. Channel 1 is connected with a measuring cord having crocodile clip. When I am touching the positive terminal of DSO, that is digital storage oscilloscope, keeping the negative terminal where it is showing around 0.5 volt peak of sinusoidal AC voltage. This is the AC supply cable of DSO. The most amazing thing to be noticed here is cable is obviously covered with rubber or PVC material as usual. But when I am touching that cover with positive measuring terminal, AC voltage of maximum around 3.5 volt is observed. Let's bring that cable to the front for confirmation. This is the more interesting to see that I am holding the positive terminal in one hand and when I am touching the supply cable with other hand it shows around 2 volt and even more than 4 volt. Let's see the same measurement by multimeter alone first and then combined with oscilloscope side by side. Multimeter function selector is at 20 volt AC. Then when I am touching the positive terminal of multimeter, it is showing negligible voltage. Now we will measure with both multimeter and DSO connected parallelly. That is I have connected respective terminals of both the measuring device. When I am touching the supply cable cover D, uh, supply cable cover of DSO, this is showing more than 2 volt maximum voltage. Whereas the multimeter is showing around 1.4 volt. This is because DSO is showing the wave and this is the we are considering the maximum voltage. But in case of multimeter, it is showing the RMS voltage only. So this is correct value here also. The thing is that is our body providing that AC? Answer is no. This is the voltage drop due to my body capacitance and the resistance. This capacitance contribute to the reactance and reactance contribute to the impedance. And the voltage drop is measured between ground on which I am standing and the positive terminal of DSO. As in case of DSO reference that is the black or the negative terminal is ground here no need for that terminal is found. If I hold both the positive and negative terminal with two hands then there will be a drop but it will but it is very low. Here you will see that I have used a diode and have rectification also done here. Let's come to the main topic. In the multimeter reference terminal or that of black one is its own. That is why the voltage drop when independently measured with multimeter is low. But when I measured both the references, connected both the references, it is showing identical reading in both DSO and multimeter. When I touch the cover of cable, here the capacitance of both cable cover and body is considered. So in conclusion, it can be said that this voltage is not generated in our body but our body is acting as a passive element not an active element this is why ac is more dangerous than dc of same level when body capacitance blocks dc current allows ac current in case of dc only body resistance comes into picture but in case of ac both resistance and capacitance comes into picture body capacitance is around nanofarad some nanofarad Finally, I want to inform that the moisture on our skin act as electrolyte and generate 
little potential difference in DC. So don't touch the terminals when you are measuring some low value of voltage or current.